from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm James Tully. Greg D has your full forecast in a moment. First, here are your ABC Action News headlines. Inflation soared 8.5% over the past 12 months, the biggest spike since December of 1981. The White House says previous inflation reports did not factor in the jump in oil prices brought on partly by the war in Ukraine. Many economists warned we could see a recession by the end of next year due to the rising cost of goods and the Federal Reserve raising key interest rates in the coming months. The prosecution scored a major court victory ahead of the murder trials for the accused Seminole Heights killer Howell Donaldson III. He will face four separate trials, one for each shooting. But a court of appeals just ruled that prosecutors will be able to mention all four shootings at each trial. The trial court had not wanted to allow that. Prosecutors argue the evidence of the four murders is relevant to prove intent as well as a common plan in the killings. They also want to tie one gun to all the cases. Dates for the trials have not yet been set. It's election day in Pasco County. People voting on the next city leaders in four different cities, Port Ritchie, Newport Ritchie, Dade City and St. Leo, all holding local elections today. Polls open until seven tonight. You can find your voting location on PascoVotes.gov. And in a new study, they found many athletes reported symptoms that are often used to diagnose concussions, even though they did not suffer a head injury. The findings suggest that some symptoms, including fatigue and neck pain, could be attributed to intense exercise or playing sports rather than simply a brain injury. Scientists say their findings highlight the importance of considering the effects of exercise and assessing concussions in athletes on the field. The Polk County School District laid out the plans for graduation. Tickets will be required to attend the ceremony for each school. Most graduations will take place in the RP Funding Center in Lakeland. The district said tickets will be limited, but they're working with the venue to get as many people in as safely as possible. There will be 3,400 seats total available for each ceremony. Each school will announce how many people each student can bring. For those who cannot make it, each graduation is going to be live streamed. And Krispy Kreme Donuts has a special offer that they're doing now. They want to sweeten things up a little bit with the price of gas so high. Right now, until the end, until the beginning of May, May 4th, they're going to sell a dozen donuts for the price of a gallon of gas. That means tomorrow a dozen glazed donuts should cost $4.11. The promotion ends on May 4th, as I mentioned. Uh, Greg, believe it or not, that is still a really good deal on Krispy Kreme dozens. I didn't realize they cost about 12 bucks for a dozen. <laughs> yes, that is, does. uh, that's a pretty expensive bu uh, box of donuts. You'll get a pretty good discount uh, tomorrow. Today, a great day to take those donuts to the beach. Temperatures in the upper 80s, lots of sunshine. Yesterday, that humidity was low. It stays low today, so notice the heat index matches the temperature, and that's because our dew points are going to be up into the upper 50s to maybe around 60. Relatively dry for this time of year, certainly by Florida standards. A really nice, warm, sunny day. That does change as we head into the weekend. Your updated seven-day forecast always available in the ABC Action News app. James. All right, thank you, Greg. Get all your news 24-7 right here on ABC Action News Plus.